just finished up speaking at Georgia Tech into their startup incubator space, and it was awesome. Um, but a girl after the talk asked me a question. I thought it was pretty relevant, so I wanted to share it. She's generally a positive person, but her boyfriend is not. He's kind of a negative person, and whenever something happens, he always says stuff like, oh, that's just my luck, this always happens to me, and it's kind of a downer. And she asked how she can, you know, help him become a little more positive. And my first question was, well, does he want to be more positive? Does he want to be happier? Um, and she wasn't really sure of that. So I feel like that's the most important because if someone doesn't want to change, they're not going to change. A lot of people just like complaining. Energy is so powerful, right? We've all been in situations where we're in a good mood and then someone comes in and they're not in a good mood and they just suck the energy out of us, right? They just turn everything negative. But the reverse is also true, right? You can also shift the energy to be more positive, to be good energy, right? It's very, very powerful. And so what I recommended to her is to be the absolute best she can be, be positive, things see the good in life. And what's gonna happen is it might take some time, but if you're the best version of yourself, often that rubs off on people. If it doesn't, and if that person remains uh, negative and remains miserable and is constantly bringing you down, it might be time to reevaluate that relationship um, and to see what value they're adding. If someone's always bringing you down, always you know sucking that energy out of you, I don't really think it's worth being around at the end of the day because energy is so, so powerful and our time is short, right? Our lives are, are very, very short and we have to make the most of it.